and we want to read verse 32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And then we want to turn over to chapter 14 of the Gospel of John. And we're going to read one verse of scripture here also. Very familiar to all of us. Verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. And we want to use this today, and with the help of the Lord, we want to preach a message entitled, Walk in the Truth. And I'm glad we can. Amen. Thank God, God, he didn't leave us in darkness. He didn't leave us in ignorance. That means not knowing. But as we learned, okay, here in the Gospel of John, and when we taught it, we shared this with you, God, God wants to reveal himself to us. He wants us to know him. Amen. 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 As Paul wrote, to know him and the power of his resurrection. Thank God, brother, sister, we can know him walk in the truth. Yes. Let's look to him in prayer. We're going to, uh, as we pray, we're going to pray for my wife also. Okay, continue to pray for Wanda. And Reverend Coker, will you lead us in prayer, please? Father, we come before you again in that wonderful name of Jesus. We ask you to keep your hand upon this service. Let a fresh unction rest upon Pastor Coke as he preaches your word. And Father, we ask you to keep with, uh, for a healing touch on Sister Pope, Lord, that you'll be with her and, and comfort her, Lord. And Father, we pray for again for Wanda, Lord. Watch over Wanda. Keep your hand upon her and be with her at this time, Lord. And Father, anyone else that needs a touch, we ask you to move in a mighty way. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You know, recently I read about the death of a famous country singer. Uh huh. And I begin to think about those in the entertainment industry, whether it's music, television, or movies, whatever other kind of entertainment okay, that uh, is out there. Many times these people are portrayed to be larger than life. Mm -hmm. They're they're portrayed to be a certain way. But when it really comes on down to it, brother and sister, they're just people like you and I. Amen. They're not superheroes. Mm -hmm. and they're not uh, beyond fault, failure, illness, death. Mm -hmm. We're not saying that to in any way disparage the man that I'm referring to. Okay. They're people just like you and I, regardless of how the entertainment industry tries to portray them, That's right. paint a picture of them being a certain way, okay, making uh, making things up and, and creating an image, mm -hmm. an image of that is not real, okay, because you know we're all we're all people, brother and sister that. That we're allowed to be born into this world, and every one of us needs the Lord. There's no exception. There's no exceptions that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's no exceptions, and that every one of us, regardless of how famous somebody is, maybe how wealthy they are, how intelligent they are, okay, everyone has failed. Yeah. And everyone, brother and sister, needs the truth. Every one of us needs the truth. We don't, we don't want to live in a land of make-believe. And I believe that you look at, at many that have uh, maybe uh, been involved in that kind of land, that make-believe life. Part of the reason for the sorrow that many of them experience is because they know that's not really who they are. Okay? There are people that are looking for something inside. They're looking for love just like you and I. 
Okay, we're looking for love, and thank the Lord Jesus came by our lives. Amen. Amen. And he absolutely let us know what life was really all about. And we experienced his love and his grace and his mercy. And maybe for the first time in our life, we really began to see things the way that they really are. And thank God there is a truth. It's not all fake. It's not all put on. It's not all a land of make-believe and, and uh, all of this, brother and sister. But there is a truth. And thank God, brother and sister, we have had the opportunity to know the truth. And as we read in our Bible setting out of John chapter 8, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. If we accept the truth, yeah. if we accept things the way that they really are, not long ago, I heard a man talk about a time in his life, and we were, I was this way. There's a lot of things that I used to believe, things that were promoted by our society. Yes, sir. Television, uh, you know, news, whatever, media, things that were promoted, and this is the way that it is, and you've got to think this way. If you don't think this way, there's something wrong with you. Okay, and there were a lot of things that I believed, just as this man, and he talked about, things that he had believed in his life, okay? And he came to the realization that a lot of what he believed was not true. Okay? It wasn't real. It was, it was just someone promoting something. It wasn't true. It's not the way that it really was. But thank God, thank God, brother and sister, he had the opportunity to experience the truth in his life as you and I have. All right. And when he did, just like us, okay, when he came in contact with the truth, the falsehoods began to fall away. God began to show him what's real and what is right. Amen. And this man began to change the way that he thought about things and consequently began to change the way that he lived. Amen. You know, as a Christian, we are not to base what we believe on what society says is right and what is true, but we know that we are to base what we believe on the word of Almighty God. Amen. If we're going to go back just a little bit in our Bible setting, Jesus said here in the Gospel of John chapter 8, and Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, and it applies to you and I too, okay? He said, if you continue in my word, then shall you then shall you be my disciples indeed. Mm -hmm. We really want to be a disciple of the Lord. We ought to continue in the word of God. Not just hear the word of God, but we ought to be doers of the word of God, as James wrote to us. Brother and sister, we're to take the word of God, and we are to apply it to our lives because God's word is true. Okay? His word is truth, brother and sister. You know, we, we've been teaching uh, about different things. And, and in our Bible study, we talk about principles that are taught in the word of God. Brother and sister, God teaches us things. And we can take those things and we can continue in the word of God. It's more than just, well, I still read my Bible. Thank God we read our Bible, but we need to take the Bible and we need to apply it to our lives. Okay, we need to continue in the word of Almighty God. Well, this man found out that everything wasn't as he thought it was. Can I get a witness in the house of the Lord? All right, yeah. Okay, we found that out too, didn't we? His experience was so traumatic that it caused him to realize that he had been living and promoting a lie. Okay, he came as the man in the pig pen that we read about. Okay, brother, sister, in the gospel of Luke, he came to himself. He realized, I'm in a pig pen. That's the truth. I'm not hallucinating. Okay, this is not just uh, some bad dream that I'm having. I'm in a mess. That's the way that it is. It's the truth. But when we come to the knowledge of the truth, brother and sister, Thank God the truth is empowering because we can begin to make right decisions, not according to fallacy, but according to the truth. Amen. 
Okay? He made a decision. A decision. I will arise and go to my father. Thank God, brother and sister, we can get up, okay, out of any wrong that we are in with the help of the Lord. This, this man realized that he was living and promoting a lie. He was so affected by this realization that he began to tell people that he had been wrong. Even those that he had previously attacked. You know, just like us, uh, every man's ways are right in his own eyes until oh. you find out that you're wrong. Okay? And he began to tell people, you know what, I was wrong. I, I attacked you. I, I said you were wrong, but in reality, I found out that I was wrong. Okay, right, so he yeah. began to try to make things right, and he made a statement. He said, isn't the realization that we are messed up one of the basic beliefs of Christian faith? Yes, it is. When we come to the realization, hey, wait a minute, I'm a sinner. God's talking to me. The preacher's talking to me. Yeah. I've done yes. wrong. I need to repent of my sin. Yeah. I'm the one that's lost. That's right. And on my way to an eternity without Jesus. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. I've got the opportunity to do something about it. Because there's some more truth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. As Reverend was exhorting, Jesus came not to condemn me, but to save me. He died upon the cross to pay for my sin, to wash it away. Amen. He gave his life in judgment to take my place in hell. So I wouldn't have to go there. He rose from the dead. He is alive. That's the truth. I believe it. And I'm going to build my life upon the truth. When the Bible says when God so loved the world, that includes me. I believe now that God loves me. I don't look at God as someone that's trying to destroy me. If God wanted to destroy me, he had all kind of opportunity. Now I was born, I was born premature. I weighed like two pounds, 14 ounces. My mother said she could hold me like this. I stayed in the hospital for a long time. Okay, they had me in an incubator, and uh, you know they had to get me strong before they could send me home. I was in there for a long time. Okay, brother, sister, if God wanted me to die, I would have been dead. All right, now that's that's just the very beginning. All of us, brother and sister, every one of us. Jesus isn't trying to destroy us. He's trying, brother and sister, for us to face the truth and to realize that we cannot do this without him. We need him. He loves us. He wants us. That's the truth because he wants to help you and I. Amen. You know, as much as you want to go to heaven, the Lord wants you to go to heaven more. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's the truth, brother and sister, and we need to build our life upon the truth. Yes. This man yes. realized, he said, you know, we're all messed up, and we all need help. And he went on to say that he wasn't going to live a lie anymore. He made it up in his mind, brother and sister, that he would speak the truth, that he would endeavor to live the truth. Aren't we taught by the word of God? To be sincere and without offense? All right. Yes, we are. Oh, thank God, brother and sister. I don't want to be a Christian in name only. I'm glad that we can be real Christians. Amen. Amen. That we can be Christ-like. That we can continue in the word of Almighty God. That we can live our lives according to what God says. Jesus wants us to know the truth, brother and sister. The truth is not abstract. The truth is not vague or cloudy. No, there's grays and there's no, it's not. Right. We're the ones that try to make it that way because we don't want to, we don't want to adhere to what it says. Right. So all kind of stuff that's taught in the Bible, we need to ask ourselves, if that doesn't matter, why is it in the Bible? You can always find somebody to come along and say, well, you know, that, that doesn't apply. You know, that's, 
That was back then. Where does it say that in the Bible? I can read stuff in the New Testament. I don't read anywhere. And this is only going to apply to this church that he's writing about at this time. On the contrary, okay, I see admonitions for them to read what's written to them to other churches. Okay? I see teaching in the word of God that his word does not change. Are you here? It does not change, brother, sister. Okay, it is settled in heaven. It's all going to be fulfilled. Thank God, brother, sister, we can, we can follow it. We can take it and apply it in our life. Okay, you know, so many times people want to water the word of God down. Why? Why do we want to weaken it? Hmm? Why do we want it to, to say less than what it actually says? All right, sir. You know, we keep going down this path of things not mattering. Nothing's going to matter. All right. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is a holy God. That is not going to change. And we are taught in the New Testament that we are to be holy as he is holy. That's the truth. Yes. Isn't it? Amen. Okay. You know, it just amazes me. People... Because society promotes it. And, and, oh, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you act. It doesn't matter what you wear. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter. And this doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Why are these principles written in the Bible? All right, if they now. don't matter. They do matter. Okay? If they didn't matter, God would not have them in his word. But they do. Let's not try to dumb God down and make God less than what the word of God declares him to be. God's not some, God's not some uh, uh, a sinful, uh, worldly human being. Right. It's because Jesus was manifest in human flesh, didn't make him any less God. Right. He is still divine. He is still holy. He is still without sin. Yes. And we're not to try to bring him down to the level of mankind He's trying to pick us up and make us like him. Amen. All right. And he teaches us things in the Bible. The, the way that he wants us to be. Okay. We dealt with this the other day. Sure. God will save anybody. But he won't leave them the same. Right. All right. He will not leave them the same. Okay. He will absolutely change them as he has done with you and I. Has he done that in our lives? Yes. Amen. Has there been a change in your life since you got saved? Amen. Amen. God's not a respecter of persons. God's not going to say, well, I'm going to make you holy because you go to that church and they believe the Bible. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to make that other person holy because they don't really teach that over there. Mm-mm. The truth is the truth, brother and sister. Yes. Yes. Amen? The truth is the truth. Thank God. Amen. Thank God we have a record of who Jesus is, brother and sister. It's not some abstract thing. It's not a matter of opinion. The Bible is not of any private interpretation. It says what it says. Amen. And why do we have to discount what it says? Because people don't understand it. Why don't they study it? Now listen, let me tell you something. Okay? All, all you... I don't understand the King James people. Okay, now I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not stupid, okay? I don't, I'm not, I don't have a low IQ, but I didn't goof around when I was in high school, as a lot of high school boys did, okay? I cut class, I did things that I shouldn't have done. I didn't do my homework because mm -hmm. I was too busy being a teenage boy. Uh-huh. Okay, and I made a D in my last year of English class, okay? Huh? Barely got out of that, and barely graduated from that class. I mean, indeed, I can understand the King James Bible. <laughs> yes, sir. God helps me, I pray, and I read, and I study, and others have helped me. You can understand it, yes, sir. okay? Let's not take a watered down version because it's easier to understand, and they take stuff out of the word of God Brother and sister, we don't have any right to change what it says. It says what it says. I don't want a, I don't want a partial Bible. I want all of the truth. Yeah. Yes. I don't want 
some person deciding to take it, to take something out that God doesn't didn't want taken out. Don't withhold it from me. Let me know. I want to know the truth. And I want to build my life upon the truth. It's not a matter of opinion. It is a record, brother and sister, of God, of who he is, of who he truly is. We learn that in the Gospel of John. He, he is known as the Revelator. It's not just because of the book of Revelation. If you look at the Gospel of John, he's revealing to us who Jesus is. Right. Come on now. From the very beginning of the book, of the Gospel, he begins to tell us. Okay? He begins to show us. He is the creator of all things. Amen. Yeah. Come on, church. We're not dealing with some religious figure in history, some mere man right. that lived. We are dealing with God, brother and sister. Oh, yes. Yes. We're, de we're dealing with the creator of all things. Amen. We're not going to belittle him. We're not going to bring him down to the standard of man. Yes, he came as a man to suffer death, but he is exalted yes. to be a savior yes. unto the whole world. Amen. And a Lord. He is the Lord of lords and the King of kings. To him, every knee is going to bow and every mouth is going to confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Amen. Father. And I'm not waiting till then. I'm going to bow right now. Amen. I'm going to bow my life right now. Amen. Jesus, you are Lord. Amen. How do you want me to live? Amen. What do you want me to do? Yes. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Love my message. You're doing good, sir. Yeah, we love You're you. doing good, sir. It's his. It's, we're his. Yeah. Amen. Why is that hard for us to understand? If he wouldn't have paid my price in hell, I would be there. Yeah. More than likely, or on my way. Mm -hmm. But he did. And it is my reasonable service to offer myself a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, not to society, but to God. Yeah, right. And if God tells me in his word, don't do this, I have an obligation to obey Okay, regardless of what anybody else says. And you'll always find somebody who's willing to contradict what the Bible teaches. I know your preacher says that, but my church, it ain't my church. It ain't their church. It's his church. And if we're going to go to heaven, we're going to go his way. Following him as we read unto you, if we continue in his word, then are we his disciples indeed. The Bible is a record of Jesus, who he is, brother and sister. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, other Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood had not revealed this unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock, the knowledge of who Jesus really is, brother and sister, right. not Peter, okay? Right. The knowledge of he is the Christ, the yes. Son of the living God. Yes. He is God the Son. Upon that He's going to build his church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. It will not, brother and sister, because why? Jesus is truth, and the devil is a lie. Amen. He's a liar and the father of it. Brother and sister, he's not going to succeed. He hasn't succeeded. Right. My goodness, all you got to do is look at those that are following him. Okay, now, there may be people that gain popularity and fame and things like that, okay? And I really believe they do this, some of them. I've heard accounts of people, they really, and I'm not trying to be goofy or anything like that, but there are people that absolutely make a deal with the devil. Yes. You make me famous, and I'll, and I'll degrade this generation. I'll 
uh, cause them to do all kind of stuff. I'll sing and do all kind of uh, things that are yes. that ungodly to absolutely corrupt them. Yes. And what happens to them? They end up committing suicide or having drug overdoses or dying in airplane wrecks. Man, you can't even count how many have been through that. Right. Over and over and over and over and over again. Yes. Okay? Over and over again. Why? Because he is a liar. Amen. He is a thief, brother and sister. He came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And that's what he does. Amen. Yes. Come on now. Amen. You know, you, you have these people, they, they say that they're of God. And they're so unhappy. So hateful. Oh, God. I mean, Lord, Islam is not of God. That's period. Right. Period. That's right. Allah is not another name for God. No way. <laughs> Go ahead. That junk wasn't invented until about six, seven hundred years after Jesus already died. That's right. We're not ashamed to tell you that. Go ahead, sir. Look at them. I don't know why they want to live like that. Huh? They all look, they just look depressed yeah. and unhappy. And they want to lash out at people that love God and destroy them. That ought to tell you they're not of God. That's right. Amen. And you know what, Christian? You don't have to accept what these people in this world tell you. Amen. Are you know what I mean? No, I don't. They're wrong. That's right. They're wrong for what they do to Israel. They're wrong for what they do to Christians. Period. It's not their land. That's the truth. Go read your Bible. Go read Genesis chapter 17. God said, Abraham, come here, look, look around. This way, that way, look over there. The length of it, the breadth of it. I'm going to give it into your hand. This is the covenant that I'm going to make with you in your seed. Hmm? And he gave him the covenant of circumcision, didn't he? Yes. We know who that is for, don't we? Mm -hmm. That's their land, brother and sister. I don't know how I got off on that, but there we go. He's a liar. The devil is a liar. Okay? And he's a thief, and he wants to steal what God is trying to do in people's lives. You know, God wants to bless you. Yes. God wants to absolutely he wants you to prosper in your life. And I'm not just talking about material things. And God will prosper you if you obey the Bible and pay your tithe. Right. Should be paying tithe on your income. Yes. yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You're talking about a thief. The devil's a thief. I don't want to be a thief like him. Uh -oh. The book of Malachi, they said they robbed God. How'd they rob God? They didn't pay their tithe. You should be paying tithe on your income. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay? We don't want to be a thief like the devil. We want to give God what is his. Amen? Yes. Well, he's trying to rob people from their blessing. Man, go back and you can learn about Adam and Eve. This is the craziest thing. You read about it. He's trying to withhold something from you. He knows that in the day that you know it, you're going to be like him. I'm already like him. I already have everything. He created all of this and gave it to me. The only thing he told me not to do is eat of that tree that you're telling me to eat of. Now God's not trying to withhold anything from us other than destruction and sin and separation from him. He's trying to bless us, brother and sister. He's trying to restore us. He's trying to give everything to us. If we will believe him, Instead of the lies of the devil, mm -hmm. if we will believe the truth instead of a lie, come on now. Yes, sir. Believe what God has for you. Yeah. My goodness, don't be so negative all the time. Mm -hmm. Woo. You don't understand. Don't tell me I don't understand. You don't know what we've been through. I'm very, I'm blessed. I got, a, I got a wife that loves the Lord, Amen. and she loves me, and she doesn't give me a hard time. Yeah, that's right. She's good to me. 
serves God with me, and you wonder why that I am the way that I am with her. We were married one year and we went into servicemen's work. She never complained. She never said, I want my own place, and I want this, and I want that. No, she said, I want to help these boys. Amen. Yeah. She was willing to do that for decades, even after she was sick. And she been she was sick. We stayed in it a long time. She started getting physically, seriously ill. We didn't get out of it. We stayed in it. People don't know that. She was willing to do it. Okay, She was willing to, to do that kind of thing. And, oh, uh, you know, uh, you, you don't understand Hey, just because I have a wife that's that way now doesn't mean that I don't know about people that aren't that way. Yeah. All right, now. Yeah. Doesn't mean that I don't know about people that don't want to serve God. Right. They want to do their own thing. Trust me, I know about it. Yes. Okay, we understand. But more importantly, Jesus understands. Yeah. Why are we going to be negative and doubt and have fear and all of this stuff? Brother, sister, we've been teaching about it and preaching about it, and I'm not mad at you, but we can pray, and God can open doors, and God can work it out. Where is our faith, brother and sister? Amen. 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 All right, now. Well, I don't see how it's going to work out. You don't have to. Amen. God knows how it's going to work out. Yes, yes. amen and amen. Let's pray. You know, sometimes we got to get to that point. God, you work it out. I'm tired of dealing with it. God's like, now we're talking. Amen. Come on, Abraham. Yeah. Nobody told you to go over there with her. <laughs> I told you you're going to have a son with Sarah. Stop trying to work things out on your own. You're going to mess it up. Exactly. You're going to cause a problem. Yeah. Yes, sir. Trust God and his word. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. And he can bring it to pass. Amen. Okay? Let's go on here, brother and sister. Let's go on. Okay? Thank God, brother and sister. We have, we have so many examples of those who did believe God. Good examples in the word of God. We've been learning about the Apostle Paul in our Bible study. We many times have spoken of, of uh, Joshua and Caleb and how they had a different spirit. They had a different attitude. Man, they had the whole nation against them. Oh, we can't do it. Oh, there's too many of them. They're too big. There's too many obstacles. Ah! What did they say? Ah, shut up. We are well able. Amen. We can do it. Yes. You know, sometimes you just got to tell the devil to shut up. Right. Shut up, devil. I can do it. Yes. I can do what God wants me to do. Amen. Thank God, brother and sister, we can. And that's the truth. That's the truth. I'm almost done, sister, right? You want to get ready? Please, ma'am. And I appreciate sister, right? She's a blessing. Yes, yes. You're living dangerous, Reverend Cooper. She got that cane right there. <laughs> First of all, he was saying he's going to spill her water. <laughs> then he said he's going to dump it on her. I wish it. She got her cane right there, sir. Yes, sir. She does. Why didn't do it? No. <laughs> No, we, we're just joking. Okay? We're not trying to be disrespectful to anybody. Amen. Appreciate the family of God. Thank God for Amen. the love of God. Amen. Amen. God helps us, doesn't he? Yes. He helps all of us, brother and sister. And that he, he is the truth, brother and sister. Thank God we have the truth. Thank God we have come in the right way. We didn't come in some wrong way. I know it's not always easy. I know you face battles in your life. But the same God that saved you when you were absolutely lost in sin will keep you yes, and can yes, keep you all yes. the days of your life. He's going to help you. He is with you. He's going to go with you always, even to the end of the world. You keep following him. Don't yes. listen to the wrong voice. Don't hear another voice as he told us there in John chapter 10. Don't follow a, a, a voice of doubt or a voice of fear. Follow the shepherd, brother and sister. Keep your eyes open. Yes. Keep them on the shepherd. Yes. Keep your ears yes. open. Yes. Continue to listen for the voice of the Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. That voice that tells you that you can. That voice that tells you to get up. That voice that tells you that he is with you. Amen. Yes. Follow him. He's with you, my friend. Thank
thank God, brother and sister, that is the truth. That is the truth. You know, they, they I remember seeing them silly, uh, uh, who was it? It was the three students. They went to court. <laughs> they went and they put their hand on the Bible. Said, if you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, number true. What? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, number true. Finally said, I do. But he figured out what the man was saying. I'll, I'll tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But what we're telling you tonight is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, brother and sister. It is the truth. Yes. And we know that it is. Yes. He do. is the good shepherd, yes. and he yes. has given his life for the sheep. Yes. Let's accept the truth. Let's stand upon the truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Tonight as we bow our heads and we close our eyes in reverence to the Lord. Sister begins to play, sing. We come and pray. No lies of the truth. But Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And we have come to the Father by Him. Let's come today and pray. Let Him encourage you. Build your life upon His word. God bless you tonight, He's our prayer. Let us pray.